Hello and welcome to this installment of the FlexiBed service video series. In this video, you will learn how to both install and remove a control box for your FlexiBed. The only tool you will need to remove or install your FlexiBed control box is a flathead screwdriver. Before we begin, the first thing you need to do before removing your old control box or installing your new control box is to make sure the power cord is not plugged into an electrical receptacle. You can plug the power cord in after you have finished removing or installing your control box. First, let's discuss what a control box looks like and what functions it performs on your bed. Pictured here is a FlexiBed control box. The control box serves as the brain or the computer as all the power and communications with the motors moves through the control box. The control box should always be attached to your head motor as seen here. Your control box will have a power cord that supplies electricity from your wall outlet. There are five ports on each control box. Each port does not necessarily have a wire plugged into it. Depending on your bed's configuration, it may have as little as two ports with wires plugged in, or all five ports may have wires plugged in. The easiest way to find your control box is to follow the wires. All wires from the motors lead back to your control box as seen here. Now let's begin and show you how to remove your control box. First, we need to remove the plug retainer clip from the control box so that all wires can be unplugged. The plug retainer clip can be removed by depressing the small tab at each end of the clip with a flathead screwdriver. The two tabs that hold the plug retention clip in place are seen here. Depress the two tabs with your screwdriver as seen here and remove the plug retention clip. With the plug retention clip now removed, you should be able to easily remove each plug from the ports in the control box. Be sure to pay attention as to which plug you're removing and the associated port it was plugged into. This information will be helpful when you are ready to plug the wires back into your new control box. Now that all the plugs have been removed from the control box, you need to remove the C-clamp that holds the control box in place and connects it to the head motor. The C-clamp snaps into the top and bottom of the control box. To remove the C-clamp, simply use your hand to unsnap the clamp from the control box as seen here. With the C-clamp removed, you should now be able to slide the control box off of the head motor. The final step in removing your control box is to remove the power cord. The power cord can be removed by depressing the small red button seen here with a flathead screwdriver. Once the red button has been depressed, you should be able to remove the power cord. Now that you have removed your old control box, you will need to install a new control box. Before you begin, please make sure that your power cord is not plugged into an electrical receptacle. The power cord should be plugged in after you have completely finished installing the control box. The first step in installing your new control box is to insert the electrical plug into the control box as seen here. Again, do not plug the cord into your wall receptacle until you have completely finished installing the new control box. Next, slide the control box back onto the head motor. You will notice the grooves in the control box should slide over the raised tracks on the cylinder of the head motor as denoted by these red arrows. Place the control box on the tracks as seen here and slide it all the way in. In order to secure the control box to the head motor, reattach the C-clamp to the top and bottom of the control box. Using your hand, attach the bottom side first and then the top. You should hear the clamp snap into place when positioned correctly. Once the control box has been properly secured with the C-clamp, you can now reinsert all cables into the proper ports on the control box. The short cable with a yellow ring coming from the head motor should be plugged into port number one. The plug with the red ring coming from the foot motor should be plugged into port two. If you have a bed equipped with a high-low motor, 
The motor with the red plug coming from the high-low motor should be plugged into port 3. If your bed is equipped with massage motors, the yellow plug coming from the massage system should be plugged into port number 4. The final port on the control box, port HB, will contain one of the following items. If you have a wired hand control, the white plug at the end of the cord should be plugged into port HB. If you have a wireless hand control and there is a second flexibed in your home, you will need to have a dongle, also called a dummy plug, plugged into port HB. If you have a wireless hand control and there is only one flexibed in your home, then nothing should be plugged into port HB. After you have finished installing all of the appropriate plugs into the ports, test your flexibed to make sure that all functions are working properly. Plug the power cord back into your electrical receptacle. If everything has been installed correctly, you are finished with installing your new control box. Please note that it is not required to reattach the plug retainer clip. This clip is used primarily to prevent damage during shipment of the bed. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions about service on your Flexibed, please feel free to call our service department toll free at 1-800-648-1256. We are open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you for making Flexibed your bed for life.